Hello everybody and welcome back to Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are back in Lake Koft continuing our mini series within our main SnowRunner Let's Play. Um, we've done two episodes so far on this brand new map. It's been awesome fun. I'm really enjoying this new map. It does kick your ass a little bit. Um, but that always makes it a little bit more exciting. So today we are back in Lake Covd and if you haven't seen the previous episodes then I definitely recommend you go and watch those before you watch today's episode because this is going to be part three. Uh, but in the last episode, just in case you haven't seen it already, um, we went and actually rescued the brand new prototype exploration unit. It's basically a mobile watchtower and it's a little trailer, it pops out with a little radar, it's awesome fun and uh, we're going to be using that today to go and explore the map and see if we can get one of the brand new vehicles. So if I just open up the main, uh, well the, the map here, uh, you can see since the last episode I have uncloaked a lot of the map. Um, this is where we are over here and I actually decided off camera to just go and have a little explore with the prototype exploration unit just see how it works see how um, good it actually is and I have to say it's really simple to use um, it's not that difficult to just tow around with you and I managed to uncloak this whole area it took me about an hour uh, just to do this and this is actually as far as the map goes it doesn't go much further than this so we've not got a whole lot left to go and explore uh, but today we're going to go and see if we can uncloak the Ford F750 it's a brand new vehicle that got added in this new update and all I know about it is it's somewhere up here it's in the top left hand corner of the map um, I've never driven the vehicle, I've never seen it in the game before, I've seen pictures of it but um, I've not like been over here, well you can see I would have uncloaked the map if I had been up here. So I have no idea of its exact location, all I know is it's in the top left somewhere. So we're going to be using the prototype exploration unit today, see if we can at least uncloak the rest of the map and we have to take the F750 over from here wherever it is to uh, camp somewhere over here uh, but to do this task we're going to need a quite good vehicle now we haven't used the Hummer here for a very long time in this game I believe the last time I used it was um, when we towed a trailer over to the International Scout when we were exploring in the International Scout we ran out of fuel and I had to bring a trailer over to it with the Hummer and I believe that's the last time we used it in the let's play someone will correct me if I'm wrong um, but it's a really cool vehicle we went exploring uh, in Alaska with this thing in the snow and it was absolutely fantastic it worked really well in the snow um, we actually went and rescued it from the North Port map which is where you can find the Hummer um, so it is very very good it can also tow a trailer which is obviously going to be useful and we did customize it in the Alaska episode I think it was episode 4 we went and customized it in um, but today I need to just modify it slightly because the exploration unit uh, something just to mention it does use up fuel it holds 120 liters of fuel uh, but every time you use it it uses up I think 15 liters of fuel so it does use up fuel so um, the Hummer here is very good on fuel consumption but we could do with just a little bit extra to buy this over so we're gonna go in and just customize this thing quickly I'm not gonna do like a full uh, customization video on it or anything we've got this stock V8 in there I've had no issues with any of this the tires were absolutely brilliant so I'm going to leave that on there the autonomous scout we already have on there the spare wheel we'll go ahead and throw that in there the frame add-ons uh, we're going to get the small roof rack but we can also get the trunk repair supplies so we can get loads of extra fuel diff lock we already have that we've got a snorkel on there miscellaneous i don't think there's anything that important in here 
and that is the thing upgraded not fully modified it is now upgraded um, so let's jump outside and hitch up to the exploration unit right and here we are outside in Lake Carved once again this is the prototype exploration unit that we're going to be dragging along with us today uh, it's an awesome piece of kit um, but before we do that I just want to see um, so you can see there, the prototype exploration unit carries 120 litres. I've gone ahead and fueled that thing up, so it does already have some fuel in. Um, so the trunk repair supplies, we have 40 litres of fuel, and the roof rack we have an extra 40. So we've got enough to fuel the Hummer up once, completely. Um, I have a feeling we may need to fuel the... Um, the exploration unit up at some point hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue but let's just go ahead and attach that to there and that is the thing coupled on now um, from my exploring I have discovered one or two things about this map which I just want to share because I think they'll be useful if you're if you're playing this map for the first time or you've been playing it a little bit and you want some pointers avoid any bits of land like this so where there's a bit of water coming into the ice do not go near the very edge because you will fall in there now the bits of ice that are blue like this that look really thin and look like they might be water they're actually very safe if it's blue ice underneath then it is safe completely safe i i took the Pacific P16 out exploring and it didn't go through the ice at all on these blue bits So the blue bits you're completely safe if you get little bits like this here Which are a bit more white in color They're very thin ice and that is where you will fall through so um, I think it was over here. This is where we tried to cross in one of our previous episodes, in fact, no, it wasn't there. Uh, where was it? It was, um, it was here. It was right here. We tried to go across here, and as you can see, there's that one little bit of blue right there. But the majority of this is like really white, and we did end up falling through in the APC, and that's why because it's actually white. If you go like here, where the blue ice is across here, you'd be absolutely fine. So that's just a little tip I thought I'd share. It's something that I've learned just through exploring this map. Uh, but we need to just plan out a little bit of a route. Okay, so here is the route I've planned out so far. Um, I can't actually see, well, the rest of the map up here. We're gonna have to use the exploration unit, obviously, to uncloak that area uh, so we know exactly where the roads and stuff are um, in previous episodes we've gone all the way around here we've taken a bit of a longer route because we didn't really know the map then and that's absolutely fine uh, but now I know that the ice is thick enough here I've driven on this a couple of times so we shouldn't have any issues going across there the other thing I thought I'd just quickly share before we set off is there is actually a trailer store on this map I said in a previous episode I didn't know whether there was one it's actually right next to the garage just here it's just there so if you're playing this um, map for the first time and you're worried about a trailer store if you need some fuel to tow along with you you can actually get some fuel from the fuel station or you can go and get a trailer from the trailer store um, I'm gonna actually get on this snow over here so we can get a bit of speed going uh, this ice here is completely fine snow covered ice you won't fall through that's okay um, these like big shards of ice they're absolutely fine as well they won't cause you any trouble uh, one thing I have found with this map is um, obviously this is all supposed to be like a beach here this is like coastal area so there's a lot of rocky ground on this map so you need to this is a map where you do kind of need a lift kit the Hummer actually has decent ground clearance I don't think I've got a lift kit on this thing um, you can raise it but um, I've not really had any issues with it so far um, but if you've got a really low vehicle like some of the off-road trucks um, 
well some of the like I think they're called the heavy trucks like the Western Star and those kind of vehicles they're quite low to begin with so if you're going to use those on this map then I would definitely recommend you uh, fit them with a lift kit now this area here is absolutely horrible um, this white ice this is where you'll fall through and we do actually need to cross here so I'm just gonna get a bit of speed you can see we've started to go through there um, water is splashing up as well because obviously there's water on the ice and um, off camera I did actually fall through there the Hummer is quite a light vehicle it sounds weird saying that the Hummer is a light vehicle but in this game it is quite a light vehicle um, but when I went out out in the P16 I did actually go through the ice there right this bit I'm going up is apparently there's apparently a road here um, it actually I'm just gonna mark the road because I cannot actually see the road I don't know where the hell the road is uh, so I guess it goes over there right okay so here we are at the top of this mountain it's actually a lovely view from up here uh, that's the garage is just over there well next to this like weird rock formation thing uh, but as you can see on the map now we're we're heading into like a black area and the more area or like the more of this black area that you actually drive towards it will actually uncloak it a little bit um so you can kind of see what you where you're going and what you're doing um but if we go ahead and launch the uh, um the radar here so we go on activate radar you press triangle the little feet pop out at the back there it unfolds the radar and then the radar will spin around which is actually really cool i love the little animation that it does it's really cool then it'll tell you the area has been scanned and it has to pack it all away again um, but I love the little animation it's absolutely brilliant but then if we go and open the map now you can see it's discovered way more of the map um, we can actually see a little bit where we're heading to now and I think we do actually want to stick on this road um, you can see just here this is the road we're going we got to go across here in a moment that could be some ice so we've got to be careful and then we go around here and it does appear to lead somewhere over there in fact that could be it that's actually the tuz 16 actian okay so that's not the vehicle we're after um but that is another vehicle right so just down this road is the actian um i believe that's also one of the new vehicles in the game uh, which I was actually planning to go and uncloak in a future episode but if we're here we might as well go and have a little look at it um, it is actually just here somewhere um, this is where I was actually hoping to get to let's go ahead and fire up the exploration unit once again um, I love the animation so I'm going to keep this in the video for you. Those of you who have seen this a million times are probably like, oh, I'm fed up of watching that animation. But I absolutely love it. I think it's really cool. Um, it looks absolutely awesome. And um, it's a nice little feature in the game. It's something that they've actually spent time on. You can tell. Um, I like that this map is specific for this unit. Um, we are going to be getting a new map very soon called the Afrikaans map which is also going to be in the Kola Peninsula um, so it's going to be a snowy map like this one I don't know if we're going to use the exploration unit for that one as well um, I have a feeling if it's a continuation of the Kola region we probably will because uh, it's a new uh, trailer that they'll want us to use but anyway we have now explored a bit more of the map um, we're almost up to this corner it is somewhere up here the F750 so we're almost there um, the Acteon is right here and there's also a service trailer attached to it which is actually really cool you can see it's just there it's actually appeared on the map for us now so let's have a little drive down there and see if we can discover this vehicle and see what it is 
Um, there is the Acteon. Can we actually winch to it? We can winch to it. It's out of fuel. Um, I think we are just winching that truck to us. We have now discovered it. Can we get in it? We can. Okay. The Acteon. This is absolutely awesome. The uh, What was the full name of it? The Tuz 16 Acteon. This thing actually looks really cool. I like this thing a lot. Um, it's got a very square little bed on it there. Um, I know this thing has some really chunky off-road tyres you can fit on it. Obviously it's in its sort of standard state at the moment. So um, there's not a whole lot. Um, well, it's, it's really not going to be very useful here. Especially since it's out of fuel as well. We have got some fuel in the Hummer there. But I don't really want to use that just to fuel this thing up. However, I think it might be a little bit in the way, is the only issue. There's not many good winch points here. This is getting a little bit sketchy. Right, we have almost got through this horrible section. Um, I didn't really want to say that because I know now we're going to get... We are going to get stuck just as we're leaving it, I can tell. This bit looks like quite thick mud. Luckily, the thick mud in the snowy maps doesn't always appear... Well, it isn't always as bad as it appears to be. Because sometimes it's actually, like, frost-covered. So it's effectively hard ground. So you'll know in real life if you get some, like, thick mud and it freezes. It freezes the water in the mud and it makes it very hard. Um, that is effectively what is going on. Um, we do have another horrible little section just in a moment, though. Um, we have to get up this hill first. Uh, luckily, there's one nice tree over there. It's not really where I want to be going. I don't really want to be going over that way, but... I mean, if it gets us up the hill... Uh, anyway, this is the horrible little bit of like road that we have to go over well it's not a road it's basically just a rock cliff um, it's very slippy because it's ice covered rock um, which is a real pain in the ass come on winch there we go uh, luckily the Hummer isn't massive so we shouldn't have too many issues with this I'm going to go ahead and launch the radar one time uh, one, well, I was going to say one last time but probably won't be the last time um, I don't think we're that far from the F750 now hopefully as I mentioned I don't know its exact location so yeah hopefully we aren't too far away we have actually discovered an upgrade location, which is actually just down the road from us, so we might as well get that whilst we're passing. Um, I'm actually just going to skip a little bit of time. There we go. And it's daytime once again. I, I would show you the nighttime gameplay, but honestly, it's really difficult to see anything for me playing. And I, I've recorded bits of nighttime on video. And you honestly just cannot see anything. So there's really no point to it. I also don't want the trailer to fall off. Because if the trailer falls off, it's just going to drag us down this cliff with us. This is absolutely terrifying and horrible and all of the above. This is some really horrible terrain um i've seen youtubers go with massive trucks on this road or on this like cliff face and fall off it it's absolutely hilarious but um i like to be professional i like to be realistic don't like to fall off if i can help it it has happened in this in this uh, let's play we've rolled over a couple of times and stuff you know i'm not the greatest driver in the world in this game so that will happen occasionally um, 
even really good snowrunner players will probably fall over at some point. Um, I believe that is actually a lift kit location, um, a lift kit upgrade for the F750, which is actually really useful. We're going to have to get this. However, it's just a sheer ice slope down to it, as you're going to see now. So we may struggle to get out of here again. Yeah, we just slid straight into it. Oh, it's actually an engageable all-wheel drive for the GMC MH950. Um, 9500, sorry. Um, not the upgrade location I was expecting, but okay. I um, would also appreciate if we could just get in range of... Okay, well, that tree will have to do. Um... Yeah, you can see it is just a, literally a ice bank down here. Uh, we should be in range now for that tree. Luckily, they've been nice and put some trees here. They could have been very horrible and decided not to put any trees here. <laughs> right, so I thought we were going to have to go up that big cliff. Apparently, the road goes down here. To this lake basically well this it's a river um i was kind of hoping this river was going to be frozen covered so we could just drive on it it doesn't look like it is um it actually looks mm, it kind of looks frozen bits of it look frozen bits of it don't um there is plenty of trees around it i don't know which way we want to be going kind of want to go this way so we want to go to the right um, it actually does appear to be frozen which is always nice then that bit there is water so we're gonna have to be very careful with this kind of want to stick to the trees if we can help it that is like the treeless area the F750 is just in there somewhere um, but trees are your friend in this game, so hmm. does it look quite dense to go cut through the middle of there? I'm gonna do it because I don't really want to risk getting stuck in that snow over there. I don't know how thick that snow will be. We're just gonna slowly crush this tree in front of us. I don't know if this is ice under here this may have been a bad idea may have been a great idea I don't know um, I just saw trees here and there are no trees on the other part so I kind of feel like this is a bit safer at least if we get stuck in the trees we can winch to them and there's actually loads of nice trees here these like dead trees these dead like Christmas trees with no pine needles on they're actually very good they're solid trees they won't fall over so if you're looking to winch to something make sure that's what you winch to there is the f750 um can we actually crush this tree yes we can there it is it's actually quite a big vehicle i've not seen it in this game yet I mean, the Hummer in real life, the H2 Hummer, is not a small vehicle. It's an SUV, and that thing is almost twice the length. So that is absolutely incredible. Let's go and see what the task is. If we go on details, you can see the Ford F750 right there. We have to deliver it to the Northern Camp, which is just over here. It's basically back where we've just come from. Um, so it's not too difficult. Um, I don't know whether we want to take the route that we've just come on or not. Okay, so I've tried my very best to get that thing out of there. It's really, really struggling. Uh, the Hummer doesn't really have enough power to get the, F the F750 out of there. Um, we have actually discovered the location of the F750. Um which is at least something. Um, we also discovered the brand new Tuz Actian, 
which is that awesome new little off-road truck so I'm gonna leave it here for this video this is going to be part one of our f750 rescue um i think what we might go and do in the next episode is take the actian and then bring that over to our location and see if we can get the f750 out with that vehicle because the hummer qu doesn't quite have enough size and enough power to pull the f750 out um we literally have to just deliver it to the camp over here but the uh, Hummer is struggling a little bit because the Ford is such a massive vehicle. But that is going to do it for today's episode. If you want to watch episode or, or part four of this uh, mini series in our main Let's Play, if you want to see what happens with the F750, I'll be um, I'll be well getting that out in the next episode. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.